Hey guys, today we're going over tuning basics and how to tune your print to get the perfect part every single time. The next temperature we're going to cover is the bed temperature. If your bed is too cool, then this is going to basically let the plastic get a little bit harder and generally it's going to allow it to warp, which is basically going to result in it coming off the plate and failing to print. Now, if your bed temperature is too high, you can actually get melted puddles of plastic on the bed. But in, in regular cases, if your bed temperature is too high, the part's going to stick uh, too well. It's going to really, really stick. It's going to be hard to get off and you might need to, you might damage your part in the removal process. Sometimes you can actually find if you pry it with a scraper, your part will be bent or you can actually go through uh, the first couple layers when you're trying to take it off and just slice your part. And sometimes you'll get something that's called elephant's foot where there's, it's basically just bulging out on the very bottom around the entire part. And that's just like, it's settling in on itself and it's too hot. Uh, more advanced printers are also going to have temperatures like the chamber temperature, like we have on the FunMat HD over here. And that's really designed for the high temperature thermoplastics and the performance stuff. So you're getting into that, then you'll definitely want a heated chamber. There's a big trend going in the industry right now to add chambers or enclosures to existing printers, especially for materials like ABS or nylon that are very, very warpy. So people are actually building boxes around their machines and putting heaters in there just to keep it all warm to get a better quality print. Now, this is all we do every day, which is the high temperature plastics like PEAK and PEI and PPSU, and those materials require a heated chamber. It's very, very, it's nearly impossible to print them without a heated chamber. Whether you've got a $300 printer or a $30,000 printer, it's always gonna come down to the material and the tuning process. Thanks for watching. We're gonna be releasing a lot more tips, tutorials, and guides on how to print these high performance thermoplastics. So hit subscribe, stay tuned, and we'll see you on the next video.